What are the differences between junior software engineer and senior software engineer? Sometimes when we as managers are planning promotions, it's very and very hard to make a decision based only on technical skills. Yeah, you obviously got this one wonder kid who got only one year of experience, but mostly his childhood he spent in the books, understand super deep level of different technologies and solving many bugs in a matter of the second. This kid also has very strong feeling of ownership and uh, they you know they're trying to deliver their task with all the energy they still have but eventually you're asking them to write a letter or maybe to do technical decisions and when you see the documents they are sending or letters they are sending to your boss you're kind of dying inside because in this moment you understand lack of maturity of uh, this engineers lack of understanding of the technological business in general and you you know you see that, yeah, the coding is great, but maybe stakeholders management should be done by you or by some more senior engineer. And of course, there is vice versa situation when people have more than five or 10 years of experience, but it feels that their technical skills or like how we say hard skills are stuck in time. And this is good. Some people getting to some level and deciding that that's okay to be on this level because their life not at work. They are working to live, not living to work. How However, from this thing, we understand that we are not able to evaluate level of our engineers based only on their technical skills. Years of service are not equal to complexity of tasks people can handle. So, so, so nerdy. In my teams, I'm trying to build performance evaluation based on two things. First is combination of their hard and soft skills, and second on the impact they are doing on the team level, organizational level, and so on, because it kind of shows the ability of engineers to use their hard and soft skills on solving real life problems. Before I'll go what I'm considering as junior engineer, software engineer, senior software engineer, I want to emphasize, first of all, that different organizations evaluating their engineers super differently. There are different expectations, uh, there are different specifics of their work, and so on and so far. So when you listen to this, please consider this. First, my favorite, junior software engineers. They were a new grad, maybe they get to your company as an intern and now they are full-time employee. They're the folks which are just starting their career and they just learning how uh, business of tech is working. It will be great if they can take care of themselves and deliver under mentorship of more senior engineers in the team. Software engineers. They can work independently, deliver good code, understand the concept of testing, monitoring, logging. So basically they don't need a mentorship or they don't need guidance of uh, senior engineers in the team to deliver the work. This is great great engineers who are delivering very big part of work, they're still focusing on the project they're working on, and in general, um, they're just, you know, great to have uh, software engineers in your team. Senior software engineer, for some people that will be, you know, uh, they, they will spend most of the time in this position. So first of all, they influence whole teams. They can make decisions which will be impacting every project in your team. They can own uh, small projects. They can handle some uh, con communication with stakeholders and they can mentor junior folks. It's interesting because I'm from Ukraine and in Ukrainian service companies, being a senior software engineer considered as position for, you know, two, three years. When I joined uh, companies in USA, I found that plenty of people are spending a lot of time being senior software engineers and this is once again this is great they are not putting that much efforts in future to be a staff software engineer and so on they just love their lives they love the, what they are doing they are doing great job they're like not doing excellent job to be promoted to staff software engineer but in general they are good there they feel happy their families feel happy so amazing position to uh, maybe sometimes even end up your career and just do what Whatever you're doing all the time. If we are speaking about staff software engineers, so these people are considered as the team leads, tech leads in their team. They're influencing how we are designing the software, they are owning bigger products, and they can totally take management of the stakeholders on their plate. They're also very good on presenting your team on cross-team or cross-organizational projects. As well, I expect a lot of proactive initiatives coming from them 
which are uh, focused on improving the engineering efficiency and the developer's quality of life. Their impact goes beyond their teams and can impact uh, the whole organization where they are working. Will Larson, in his book Staff Software Engineer, wrote about archetypes that uh, different staff software engineers can be kind of different archetypes where it's different specializations. Somebody goes more in design, somebody goes to deep in technologies, and uh, somebody goes on more like management track. Because in most cases, engineering managers are ex senior software engineers or ex staff software engineers, depends on where your company put uh, managers. Please go and check these books. I uh, particularly finding this book super interesting, uh, and especially because half of this book is interview with staff software engineers from different companies where Will is asking them what are they doing on their job. Other positions can be named super differently in different organizations. Basically, like even those positions I've mentioned can be very different. So for example, in Goldman Sachs, they don't get software engineers. They, go, they don't get senior software engineers. Their positions start from vice president, like which was, you know, I was surprised by that. But uh, here I'm speaking about like most of the organization I worked, I observed. So next is senior staff software engineer. They are considered as the technical and team leads on the org level. So they're leading org level projects and cross org level projects. They're leading most important and technically very complex projects. They also have very good understanding of the business domain where company operates, though they can apply their technical decisions based on the needs, uh, business needs of the company. They're great representative of their organization, making sure that all technical decisions made it to make the the work of engineers or to deliver uh, business goals in the most effective way. Their impact goes beyond organization, their work, and they're impacting engineers in sister teams. Principal software engineers. In most cases, this is a top position any engineer can get in the company they are working. They are leading and plan overall direction of the whole company. For example, they are responsible on uh, getting to the new monitoring tool for the whole engineering org, or they are leading and developing the new platform which will impact development experience of every engineer in the company. Their work is impacting whole business domain of the company or whole engineering structure of the company. In most cases, they are directly working with the VP or C-level staff. And of course, different companies will have their different letters. I'm adding one URL where uh, some good people collected different levels for different companies and what are expectations for the engineers. Check it out, it's in the description of the video. Going there, you'll see that it can be super different. For example, if we check Alphabet x Google, they got eight engineering levels, where L10 have only a couple of engineers. And mostly all the engineers who got L10 at Google are the brightest mind of our generation who is doing computer science. Yeah, leveling is hard. You need to make sure that your employees are happy with their leveling, your financials are happy with your uh, leveling with engineers, you are paying their salary because, you know, higher position engineers are got, in most cases, bigger salaries. So for you, it's very important to be transparent on showing how you are defining levels in your organization. And I can wish you only good luck into that. So hit the subscribe button, put your like, put your comments, how, what are levels in your organization. And yeah, see you in the next videos. So, so, so nerdy.